Hey everybody, welcome back to the JRM YouTube channel. Today we're here to show you our latest project and it's been a little while since we posted and that's because we've been doing a lot of different upgrades here and one of those upgrades is our new Nissan NV van and we are happy to announce it's going to be the second broadcasting unit here at JRM. If you've seen a few of our videos a couple months ago, we kind of alluded that we were going to be doing this and it's been a few months but we finally found the van and it's honestly a quick turnaround. We have to get this done by May 19th. Uh, for its first double booked weekend. We have the van out on one gig and the trailer out on another. So we're currently filming this uh, last week of April and basically it's been an all hands on deck effort to get the van built and meaning construction. It was it was totally empty van, uh, metal walls and we added in our own uh, framing. We added in wood, luon, carpet, desk, everything. So we wanted to show you a little bit behind the scenes of the van as it's being built. We're pretty much almost done with construction. Next week we start putting in equipment, wiring everything together and testing everything for our May 19th deadline. It's kind of an all hands on deck at the last three weeks here to get this van finished and together. So let's go ahead and take a look inside and show you some of the construction. All right, so the first stop inside of the van is the only spot inside the van, which is the main work area in here. And as you can see, kind of copied the layout of the trailer. We went with a big monitor wall on the left side of the vehicle and that pretty much has space for our director, producer, and then we have a multi-view and a program monitor up above. And six foot counter space, you can honestly probably fit two, two maybe three people we're thinking in here. Um, we, the biggest things with the van was we thought there was gonna be a lot, a lot less space. We're actually all kind of pleased with the amount of space here inside of the van because we've also added this little standing desk or sit down desk. It folds down to prevent space uh, taken up so we can fold that down if somebody wants to sit there. One of my favorite features and probably everybody else in the crew's favorite features is our backwards seat. So anyone can basically uh, turn the seat around and then you can have a little workstation here as a producer or another camera op, somebody just sitting in here waiting for the broadcast to begin. So to start any project like this, it's good to visualize it. And the way we did that was with our 3D renderings. And these renderings kind of showed us where everything was gonna be, what it was gonna look like in the end, and this is what you're looking at now. So it's basically 3D model of the van. You, it's a cool little software you can use for Apple or, or Windows and it lets you add whatever you want, whatever measurements, and kind of lets you see what you're gonna do before you build it. So that, that's what we went off of our plans. So when we started with the van week, week one, day one, it was all bare metal. First thing we wanted to do was add the floor. So we kind of did that to get that hard part out of the way. Um, and that was same floor we used for the trailer. It's like a vinyl stick on floor. And we put that down on top of the existing rubber floor. We kind of started with electrical. Uh, just to run Romex cables through the walls. And it's, it's powered the same way as the trailer. We have two circuits to plug in when we're in a venue. Basically, circuit one is gonna be all of our equipment, and then circuit two is gonna be our HVAC or heat, AC, whatever you wanna call it. So that way, both circuits can kinda of work together. Um, and then you get to the brains of the trailer right here, which is our server rack. Uh, that's pretty much empty without any equipment on it and that's next three weeks project right there is getting everything officially in and wired. So the next step in the whole build was our shelf back here and we wanted to give enough space for people to work in here but we also need space for storage. The trailer we're lucky and we have the front tongue where we can build in shelves and store all of our camera cases and cameras in there. In the van, on the other hand, the front is the driver's seat. So obviously we had to move that back into the back of the van here and that's where we decided to land on shelves attached to the server rack, which will keep it all sturdy in place. And from there we can add in all of our equipment, camera, fiber, everything like that. The HVAC system of the van is kind of a little complicated. I wanted to find a roof mount unit, but we landed on a hose going through the wall and coming out of the ventilation on the side of the van here with a little door. So that, that hose connects to what will be our mobile portable little AC unit sitting on the floor. Um, 
And that's kind of what we have for the HVAC situation. As we learned from the trailer build, we needed a patch panel. Uh, this has definitely been a lot easier since we've had the trailer for two years now. We've been able to add anything that we didn't add when we initially built the trailer. And that, like I said, is, is the patch panel. So we were able to cut out a hole in the side of the van. That's gonna be where all of our connections for fiber, cameras, audio, anything else that needs to be run out of the side of the van can all go back to there and it's gonna run all over to the server rack and patch into equipment that way. Definitely have to thank my grandfather for helping out with this project. He's basically been the, the lead carpenter. He has the brains and expertise to figure all this out. So he's been in a lot of time lapses throughout the video and that, that's who helped us get everything get everything going and operational. So that's our construction update on the van. Hope everybody enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for another video a couple weeks or a month from now, uh, the finished product. Uh, we will try to get some footage inside the van or in our first couple weeks of operation. And so thank you for everybody for liking and subscribing. We've had a tremendous amount of support and subscribers lately. And honestly, it's, it's kind of cool to see there's a lot of people in the community that that enjoy the content that we put out and we try to help and respond to emails and help people out in the community. So thank you guys. Have a good one.